Italy is the home of the world's oldest bank and some of the world's oldest car producers. Internationally, both industries are facing a number of challenges. The wages of bank workers and car workers are increasing. Demand for bank loans and for cars is changing, in part due to changes in population size. It is predicted that, predicted that the price elasticity of demand, price elasticity of the PED for cars will also change in the future. So the first question says, state two functions of commercial banks. So one of the functions of commercial bank is that they accept deposits from customers. Another function of commercial bank is that they give loans to firms or customers. That is clear. We go to the second question, B. They said, explain two reasons why emigration from a country may increase. So emigration may increase in the country due to the following reasons. One, a rise in unemployment. If there's a rise in unemployment, it means people have to travel, go abroad to seek for or to search for jobs. That will increase emigration. Yes or no? Yes. The second point I make here is about lower living standards, which might be as a result of poor health care. So people might seek for better health care abroad. Yes. The third point I make is about social unrest, social vices, uh, war, especially war. If war continues to persist in a country, people would run away to, you know, for their own safety. That could reduce the number of people in the country. So these are the reasons why immigration can increase in a, in a country. I think that is clear. Mm -hmm. Question C. Analyze the possible causes of a rise in the wages of bank workers. So a rise in wages of bank workers could be one. The demand for bank workers might increase. The demand for bank workers might exceed the supply of bank workers. So that would increase the wages of bank workers. That's the first point. The second point I make is that Bank workers may, might use trade union. They might, they might be part, the bank workers might be part of the trade union. So they might be trade union members. And as a result, the trade union might have collective bargaining, which might help them to in increase their salary or wages. Okay. Mm -hmm. The third point I make is that bank may have, banks might have earned large profits. The banks might have made more large profits. And if they make large profits, it is through the workers. So they might want to reward the bankers, and that might increase their wages. Yes. I think that is clear. Yes. And here yeah, I made another point here. I said bank workers may have more experience and are more skilled. That might increase their salary. Clear? Yes. We go to D. Discuss whether or not demand for cars will become more price elastic in the future. First, what is price elasticity? I said price elasticity is the degree of responsiveness between the quantity demanded of a product as a result of a change in price. So if the price of a product increases and there's a significant change in the quantity demanded for such product, that means the demand for such product is price elastic. If the price of a product increases and there's no significant change in the quantity demanded of a product, then the, price is, uh, the demand for such product is price inelastic. So if it is less than one, it is price inelastic. If it is greater than one, it is price elastic. So if, a pro if price increases and people stop buying that means the demand for such product is price elastic. If price changes and you still sell the same as you used to sell, the demand for such product is price inelastic. Is it clear? So they said, will the car, will the, the market for car become price elastic in the future? That means, will, it be, will consumers be conscious about price? That's the question. So here I said yes. Demand for cars will become more price elastic in the future based on the following reason. One, the market for cars may, become more, more, may be more competitive. If the market for cars become more competitive, that means a lot of firms will be producing cars. That makes customers to have more choices. Yes or no? So if you increase your own price, they, they could buy from other competitors. Yes or no? Yes. So that means demand for, price, uh, demand for cars is price elastic. The second point I make is that income level might fall in the future. Income level might fall in the future. Mm -hmm. If income level falls in the future, cars might take a large proportion of income, so people might stop buying cars as a result of their uh, as a result of a fall in their level of income. This, do, you get, do you get the second point here? Yeah. The third point I make is about time, because they said in the future. So if price increases now, consumers might not have choices, but in the future, time will allow them to have choices, because a lot of businesses would have come in in the future. So with time, consumers will be able to search for substitutes, and as soon as they find substitutes, they stop buying from you. So the demand becomes price elastic.